A Trademark and Patent Guide Chapter 1 Trademark Info Trademark Info Trademarks, or brand names, indicate Commercial Source Trademarks may be words, logos, or other symbols indicating that goods come from a particular company. They may even be sounds, three-dimensional symbols, such as the well-known McDonald's Golden Arches, or colors. There are also service marks which indicate the source of services and other kinds of marks that will not be considered here. A trademark is used by a company to identity and distinguish its goods from those of its competitors. It could be a word, something like Levi's, 7up, Kodak, Pepsi, Nike or it could be something unique but less tangible such as the inward curved bottles Coke used to use. A trademark may be a word, symbol, design, or combination word and design, a slogan or even a distinctive sound which identifies and distinguishes the goods or services of one party from those of another. As with patents, one can infringe on another's trademarks without copying them or even being in direct competition with their owner. All that is necessary is to use the same or a similar mark under circumstances in which consumers may be confused as to the source or sponsorship of the goods or services. A trademark search is the only way to find out whether something is being used by others as a mark for a mousetrap in the proposed market area. It is also necessary to determine whether the mark has been registered in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, which could give the registrant rights well beyond the market areas currently occupied. There are two reasons why a search may not be sufficient. First, in the United States, it is unnecessary for a firm to do more than use a good mark to have trademark rights in its market area. Consequently, a search may not locate all such prior users. Second, people may be able to prevent the use of a potential mark without having used it as a mark themselves, for example, when a trademark can be associated with others in such a way that consumers might presume that some kind of relationship might exist. Trademark rights may be used to prevent others from using a confusingly similar mark but not to prevent others from making the same goods or from selling them under a non-confusing mark. Similar rights may be acquired in marks used in the sale or advertising of services, service marks. Trademarks and service marks which are used in interstate or foreign commerce may be registered in the Patent and Trademark Office. Normally, a trademark for goods appears on the product or on its packaging, while a service mark is usually used in advertising to identify the owner's services. When designing a trademark, strive for simplicity, aesthetics, and quick recognition. Try to make the mark similar to your product or service like put a plain shape there if it's a flying service or make it pretty if it's a cosmetics item like pretty writing or maybe use a plunger for a plumbing service, etc. If you have a computer and some word processing, desktop software, you can check out all the different writing styles there are like Roman, Italics, etc. Refer to the patent process section for basic information about drawing your diagram, S, in a block manner. Look at other trademarks in your related field and get ideas from them. You might have just a symbol or more commonly, some text and some background, either a symbol or a simple picture. Unlike a copyright or patent, trademark rights can last indefinitely if the mark continues to perform a source indicating function. The term of the federal trademark registration is 10 years with 10 year renewal terms. However, between the fifth and sixth year after the date of the registration, the registrant must file an affidavit stating the mark is currently in use in commerce. If no affidavit is filed, the registration will be cancelled. Trademark fights arise from either, 1, use of the mark or, 2, a bona fide intention to use a mark, along with the filing of an application to federally register that mark on the principal register. A federal trademark registration is not required in order for a trademark to be protected and a trademark may be used without obtaining a registration. Before a trademark owner may file an application for a federal registration, the owner must either 1. Use the mark on goods which are shipped or sold or services which are rendered, in commerce regulated by Congress, example interstate commerce or commerce between the US and a foreign country. 2. 
or have a dot bona fide intention to use the mark in such commerce in relation to specific goods or services. If your business is just local in scope, you can get a simple state trademark done by going through your state office of Secretary of State. Your trademark name could be similar to a corporation incorporated in any state or a trademark previously issued. In such cases, there could be legal mumbo jumbo so that's why it's wise to do a thorough trademark search before you plan to adopt your symbol as a trademark. You can either get a professional to do a trademark search, look up trademark attorneys in the yellow pages or do it yourself. To get a trademark, the name cannot actually describe the product. You can't use the word for what you sell in the name you want trademarked because that would stop everyone else who sells that product from using that word in their company name like tires, computers, car parts, etc. If your company is called Zippo Car Parts, you can trademark Zippo but not Zippo Car Parts. Your trademark cannot be similar to other trademarks currently in existence or pending. Don't trademark a term for which somebody else owns the.com website too. If somebody else owns Zippo.com, get another company name that you can trademark and buy the domain name. Logos and slogans can be trademarked. The registration process. The Patent and Trademark Office, PTO, is responsible for the federal registration of trademarks. When an application is filed, it is reviewed to determine if it meets the requirements for receiving a filing date. If the filing requirements are not met, the entire mailing, including the fee, is returned to the applicant. If the application meets the filing requirements, it is assigned a serial number and the applicant is sent a filing receipt. The first part of the registration process is a determination by the trademark examining attorney as to whether the mark may be registered. An initial determination of registrability, listing any statutory grounds for refusal as well as any procedural informalities in the application, is issued about three months after filing. The applicant must respond to any objections raised within six months or the application will be considered abandoned. If, after reviewing the applicant's response, the examining attorney makes a final refusal of registration, the applicant may appeal to the Trademark Trial and Appeal Board, an administrative tribunal within the PTO. Once the examining attorney approves the mark, the mark will be published in the Trademark Official Gazette, a weekly publication of the PTO. Any other party then has 30 days to oppose the registration of the mark or request an extension of time to oppose. An opposition is similar to a proceeding in the federal district courts but is held before the Trademark Trial and Appeal Board. If no opposition is filed, the application enters the next stage of the registration process. If the mark published based upon its actual use in commerce, a registration will issue approximately 12 weeks from the date the mark was published. If, instead, the mark published based upon applicant's statement of a bona fide intention to use the mark in commerce, a notice of allowance will issue approximately 12 weeks from the date the mark was published. The applicant then has six months from the date of the notice of allowance to either 1 use the mark in commerce and submit a statement of use or 2. Request a six-month extension of time to file a statement of use. The applicant may request additional extensions of time only as noted in the instructions on the back of the form. Statutory grounds for refusal. The examining attorney will refuse registration if the mark or term applied for does not function as a trademark to identify the goods or services as coming from a particular source, for example, the matter applied for is merely ornamentation, is immoral, deceptive, or scandalous, may disparage or falsely suggest a connection with persons, institutions, beliefs, or national symbols or bring them into contempt or disrepute, consists of or simulates the flag or coat of arms or other insignia of the United States or a state or municipality, or any foreign nation, is the name, portrait, or signature of a particular living individual, unless he has given written consent, or is the name, signature, or portrait of a deceased president of the United States during the life of his widow, unless she has given her consent, so resembles a mark already registered in the PTO as to be likely, when used on or in connection with the goods of the applicant, 
to cause confusion or to cause mistake, or to deceive, is merely descriptive or deceptively misdescriptive of the goods or services, is primarily geographically descriptive or deceptively misdescriptive of the goods or services of the applicant, is primarily merely a surname. A mark will not be refused registration on the grounds listed in the last three if the applicant can show that, through use of the mark in commerce, the mark has become distinctive so that it now identifies to the public the applicant's goods or services. Trademark Search Library A record of all active registrations and pending applications is maintained by the USPTO to help determine whether a previously registered mark exists which could prevent the registration of an applicant's mark. The search library is located near Washington, D.C. at Trademark Search Library Crystal Plaza 2. Second Floor. 2011, Jefferson Davis Highway. Arlington, Virginia, 22022. USB2.gov. Test 2.USB2.gov, Trademark Electronic Search System. USPTO Free Trademark Search. Test 2.USB2.gov, Trademark Electronic Search System. You can also go through usb2.gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash edo slash ptdl. Patent Trademark Depository Libraries The 72 patent depository libraries across the country have information where you can conduct your trademark search. Get the list from the trademark office or later on in this book. usb2.gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash edo slash ptdl. Patent Trademark Depository Libraries Any attorney admitted to practice in any state in the country is technically qualified to register trademarks with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office or copyrights with the U.S. Copyright Office in Washington, D.C. and also do trademark searches. Unlike the situation with patents, no special examination is given to determine whether the attorney is familiar with the copyright or Trademark Law or Registration Procedures Trademark Websites The Thomas Register, thomasregister.com Contains a trademark index. There's a book called The Trademark Register which lists all U.S. trademarks. Some commercial trademark search services and free ones are as follows. Test2.usb2.gov, Free Trademark Electronic Search System Inta.org Trademark Checklist from the International Trademark Association Nameprotect.com Trademarkia.com Inta.org slash tmckld1.htm Trademarks The International Trademark Association's list of nearly 3,000 trademarks for proper usage in copy eStartup.com slash trademark.htm Marksonline.com bizfilings.com slash products slash trademark dot asp trademark search services copyright resources dot com free search tool for trademark and domain name conflicts derwent dot com 800 451 3451 en dot allexperts dot com free trademark search free dash legal dash document dot com slash trademark hyphen search dot html LLC.com slash trademark underscore search dot HTML, free preliminary trademark search, paid comprehensive trademark search. LLC.com slash trademark underscore search dot HTML, free. Marksonline.com, free trademark search and domain name search. MyCorporation.intuit.com. ParkerPSVCs.com slash trademarks dot htm, 800. 6032533 free trademark search registerdomains.ch free trademark search and currency converter telebase.com 800-220-4664 test.usb2.gov thelabelfactory.com tmcenter.com/services_freezarch.htm tmpsearchers.com slash trademark slash free hyphen trademark hyphen search dot html, free trademark search. tmweb.com, the $25 trademark search. Trademark. Trademarkinfo.com, Arlington, VA, 
800-642-6564. Trademark-search.com. Trademark searchforfree.com. Website trademarks.com. Government Liaison Services Incorporated. 200 North Globe Road Suite 321. Arlington, Virginia 22203. 800 642 6564. 703 524 8200. Trademarkinfo.com. Trademark Search Service. Thompson and Thompson. 500 Victory Road. North Quincy. MA 02171-3145 800 692 Thompson-Thompson.com Trademark Search Service XL Corporate Services 2 White Street NYC 10013 800 221 2972 212 431 5000 Trademark Search Service Trademark Registration Websites I found books about trademarks at hashtag 602.7 at my local library. USB2.gov slash t slash index. 4trademark.com Asiantrademark.com, India Trademark Registration. Bizfilings.com slash products slash trademark.asp bmb-bbm.org Benelux Trademark Office, Registry of Trademarks Database. ChinaTrademarkDatabase.com, China Trademark Registration and Search. CORsearch.com, Fee-Based Trademark Researcher. CyberTrialLawyer.com slash trademark hyphen infringement. E-GINEAR.com, Finds Trademarks, Domain Names, etc en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash european underscore trade underscore mark underscore law urimark.com online trademark registration european-patent-office.org european patent and trademark information findlaw.com findlaw.com slash zero one topic slash two three intellect prop slash zero three trademark slash index dot html fplc.edu slash tfield slash trade mk ggmark.com ggmark.com inta.org international trademark association inta.org international trademark association inta.org slash tmcklsd.htm trademarks coosterlaw.com law.cornell.edu slash us code slash 15 slash ch22. Matita.com, offering registration of trademarks, copyrights, and designs in India, and free trademark searches. Markandbusiness.com, the magazine for brand name owners. Markwatch.com, fee based service that monitors the internet and reports unauthorized uses of a trademark or copyright. Megalaw.com slash top slash trademark.php. Nameprotect.com. Naming.com slash IC classes.html, international trademark classes. Naming.com slash trademark2, trademark. Nalo.com slash Kate G or slash TC underscore underscore home.html. SCH Wimmerlegal.com. THEDablog.blogspot.com. TMExpress.com Trademark Depository Libraries Trademark.Capital.com Free Trademark Trademarkinfo.com 800-642-6564-703-524-8200 Trademarklawyerbis.googlepages.com Trademarkpartners.com Trademarkregister.com Trademarks etc.com USB to gov USB to gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash edo slash ptdl patent USB to gov slash web slash offices slash dcom slash ttab trademark trial and appeal board USB to gov slash web slash offices slash tax slash tmep trademark manual of examining procedure 
wipo.in slash treaty slash n slash ip slash tlt, trademark law treaty. Worldtrademarks.org. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. U.S. Department of Commerce. Washington, D.C. 20231. 800 786 9199. 703-308 HELP 703-557-3158 Recorded line gives general Information 703-305-8747 703-557-5249 Automated line which provides status information about Pending trademark applications Fax 703-305 7786. USB to .gov. Free booklet, Basic Facts About Trademarks. Send for trademark application forms which includes detailed filling out instructions. International Trademark Association. 1133 Avenue of the Americas. NYC 10036. 212-768-9887. Fax. 212-768-7796 Publications at Inta.org Inta.org State Corporation slash Trademark Offices Every company doing business in a particular state must file basic information about themselves with the state government, usually called the Department of Corporations or the Department of State. Many states offer this information about these corporations to the public sometimes for free, sometimes for a fee. The basic gist of this information is Corporation Records Fictitious Business Name Limited Partnership Records Limited Liability Company Records Limited Liability Partnerships Trade Names Trademark Slash Service Marks Many of these state offices also offer free Publications about corporate laws, statutes, etc. The state offices are listed below. If you're inquiring about a particular company's filings, preface your letter with Records Division. If writing, preface your letter with Department of Corporations. Entrepreneurs. Dead website slash od slash general resources slash a slash secretary of state. Internet dash prospector dot org slash sec state dot html. Secretary of State Offices, Tracks for Profit and and Non-Profit Corporations. NAS.org, National Association of Secretaries of State. NAS.org slash busreg slash corpreg, National Association of Secretaries of State. Alabama. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 4121 Carmichael Road. Montgomery, Alabama, 36103. 334 242 5324. 334 242 5325. Trademarks. Fax 334 240 3138. SOS.state.al.us. SOS.state.al.us slash business slash corp DL. Arc sos.state.al.us slash cgi slash soscrp01.mbr slash input. Alaska. Corporations Division. Department of Community and Economic Development. POG 110808. Juneau, Alaska 907 465 2530-2521. Fax, 907-465-3257. DCED.state.ak.us slash BSC slash core. Arizona. Corporations Commission. 1300 W Washington. Phoenix, Arizona, 85007. 602-542. 3026 602-542-3285, Annual Reports. Fax, 602-542-3414.
cc.state.az.us slash corp slash filing slash form slash index. Secretary of State. Trademark slash limited partnership division. 1700 W.Washington. 7th FL. Phoenix, Arizona, 85007. 602 542 6187. Fax, 602 542 7386. Sosa Z.com. Sosa Z.com business underscore services slash trademark and trade names. Arkansas. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Agon Building. 501 Wood Lane. Number 310. Little Rock, Arkansas, 72201-1094-888-233-0325-501-682-3409 Fax, 501-682-3437 SOSweb.state.ar.us slash business SOSweb.state.ar.us slash core Secretary of State Trademarks Division. Agon Building. 501 Wood Lane. Number 310. Little Rock, Arkansas, 72201 1094-888-233-0325. 501-682-3409. Fax, 501-682-3437. SOSweb.state.ar.us slash core slash trade MK. California. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 1500, 11th Street. 3rd FL. Sacramento, California, 95814-916-657-5448. Corporations. 916-653-3794. Limited Liability Corps. 916 653 3365. Partnerships. ss.ca.gov slash business slash corp slash corporate. Colorado. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 1560 Broadway. Number 200. Denver, Colorado 80202. 303-894-2200-303-894-2251-900-555-1717, Status Name, Fax, 303-894-2242, SOS.state.co.us SOS.state.co.us slash pub slash business, Records, Connecticut Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 30, Trinity Street. Hartford, Connecticut, 06106. 860 566 2448. 860-270-8000. 860-509-6001. Fax, 860-509-6069. Sots.state.ct.us. D.C., City of Washington. Department. Of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. Corporation Division. 941 North Capitol Street, N.E. Washington, D.C., 20002. 202282 slash information slash build underscore PLA slash business underscore services slash corporations underscore division. Delaware. Division of Corporations. POV 898. Dover, Delaware, 19903. 302 739 3073. 900 420 8042. Name registration. State.de.us slash corp. Florida. Department of State. Corporations Division. POB 6327. Tallahassee, Florida, 32314. 
850-6000-6053. Telephone inquiries. 850-245-6053. Copy requests. 850-245-6056. Annual reports. sunbiz.org. dos.state.fl.us. Georgia. Gainty.org slash services slash corp slash corp search. Department of State. Corporations Division. Number 315 West Tower. Number 2 Martin Luther King Dr. S.E. Atlanta, Georgia, 30334-1530-404-656-2185-2817. Fax. 404-651-9059 SOS.state.ga.us slash corporations GeorgiaCorporations.org Department of State Trademark Division Number 315 West Tower Number 2 Martin Luther King Dr. S.E. Atlanta, Georgia, 30334-1530 656-2861. Fax, 404-657-6380. SOS.state.ga.us slash corporation slash trademarks. Hawaii. Department of State. Corporations Division. 1010 Richard Street. Honolulu, Hawaii, 96813. 808-586. 2727-2744-808-586-1919 Fax, 808-586-2733 State.hi.us slash DCC slash Brigi hyphen SCU Businessregistrations.com eHawaiiGov.org eHawaiiGov.org slash surf slash taxpayer Idaho Department of State. Corporations Division. Number 203 State House. Boise, Idaho, 83720-0080-208-334-2300-2301. Fax, 208-334-2080. IDSOS.state.id.us. AccessIdaho.org slash app slash SOS slash corp slash search. Illinois. CyberDriveIllinois.com slash department slash business underscore services slash courtart. Department of Business Services. Corporations Division. Number 330 Howlett Building. 3rd FL. Springfield, Illinois, 62756. 217 782 6961 7880 217 782 9521 Name Availability Fax 217 782 4528 SOS.state.il.us SOS.state.il.us slash department slash business underscore services slash business Indiana AI.org Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 302 West Washington Street. Hashtag E018. Indianapolis, Indiana, 46204. 317-232-6582-6576. Fax, 317-233-3387. IN.gov slash SOS slash business. Iowa. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Hoover State Office Building. 2nd FL. Des Moines, Iowa, 5013195152815904893. Fax, 5152425933. SOS.state.ia.us SOS.state.ia.us slash business
sos.state.ia.us slash corp slash corp underscore search. Kansas. Access Kansas.org slash corporations. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Memorial Hall. 120 Southwest 10th Avenue. First FL. Topeka, Kansas, 66612-1594. 785-296-4564. Fax, 785-296-4570. KSSOS.org. KSSOS.org slash Corp W Ilk. Kentucky. KYSOS.com slash trademark slash tmstart.asp. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Number 156 Capitol Building. 700 Capitol Avenue. Frankfort, Kentucky 40601. 502 564 2848. 502 564 7330. Fax. 502-564-4075 SOS.state.ky.us KYSOS.com Secretary of State Trademarks Division Number 152 Capitol Building 700 Capitol Avenue Frankfort, Kentucky 40601 502-564-2848-400-800 Fax, 502-564-1484. SOS.state.ky.us. Louisiana. Corporations Department. POG 94125. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70804-9125. 225-925-4704. Fax, 225-925. 4726. sec.state.la.us com slash corp hyphen index. Maine. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Number 101 State House. Augusta, Maine, 04333 207-289-4195. 207-287-3676. Fax, 207-287-5874. State.me.us slash SOS slash CEC slash Corp. Maryland. Department of Assessments and Taxation. Corporations Division. 301 West Preston Street. Baltimore, Maryland, 21201. 410-225-1330. 410 410-767-1134-1340. 410-7767-1330, Charter Information. Fax, 410-333-7097. DAT.state.md.us slash BSFD. DAT.state.md.us slash SDET web slash Charter. Secretary of State. Trademarks Division. State House. Annapolis, Maryland, 21401. 410 974 5531. Fax, 410 974 5527. SOS.state.md.us. Massachusetts. Secretary of the Commonwealth. Corporations Division. 1. Ashburton Place. Boston, Massachusetts, 02108. 617-727-2850. 617-727-9640. Corporations. 617-727-2850. Records. 617-727-8329. Trademarks. 617-727-9440. Forms Request Line. Fax, 617-742-4538. State.ma.us slash SEC. State.ma.us slash SEC slash COR slash Corey DX. 
corp.sec.state.ma.us portal slash functionality slash search. Michigan. Department of Consumer and Industry Services. Commercial Services. 6546 Mercantile. Lansing, Michigan, 48910. 517-334-6302. 517-373-1820. 517-241-6470. Fax, 517-241-0538. Michigan.gov slash sys. cis.state.mi.us slash bcs slash corp. Department of Consumer and Industry Services Commercial Services Trademarks and Service Marks 6546 Mercantile Way Lansing, Michigan 48910 517-241-6470 Fax 517-241-0538 cis.state.mi.us slash bcs slash corp slash forms cis.state.mi.us slash bcs slash corp slash pdf slash markcom.pdf Minnesota Secretary of State Corporations Division Number 180 State Office Building 100 Constitution Avenue ST Paul, Minnesota, 55155-1299. 651-296-2803. Fax, 651-297-7067. SOS.state.mn.us slash business slash index. Mississippi. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 202 and Congress. Number 601. Jackson, Mississippi, 39201. 800 256 3494. 601 359 1350 1633. Fax 601 359 1607. SOS.state.ms.us sos.state.ms.us slash busey or v slash cornap sos.state.ms.us slash busey or v slash corp slash corporations missouri secretary of state corporations division 600 w maine jefferson city missouri 65101 573 751 4153 fax 573-751-5841. 573-751-5841. SOS.state.mo.us. SOS.state.mo.us slash business entity. Moselle.sos.state.mo.us slash bus hyphen sir slash so score. Montana. App.discoveringmontana.com slash bess. Secretary of State. Business Services Bureau. 225 State Capital. Helena, Montana, 59620-406-444-3665-2034. Fax, 406-444-3976. SOS.state.mt.us slash CSS. Nebraska. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 1305 State Capital. Lincoln, Nebraska, 68509. 402, 471, 4079, 4080. Fax, 402, 471, 3666. SOS.state.ne.us. SOS.state.ne.us slash htm slash corp menu. NOL.org slash business. Nevada. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 101 and Carson. Number 3. Carson City, Nevada, 89701-4786. 775-687-5203. 775-684-5708. 702-684-5708. 
786-2880, Las Vegas. Fax, 775-684-5725. Fax, 702-486-2888, Las Vegas. SOS.state.nv.us SOS.state.nv.us slash com underscore rec slash CR forms slash CR forms. New Hampshire. Number 204 State House. Concord, New Hampshire, 03301. 603 271 3244. State.nh.us slash SOS slash corporate slash index. New Jersey. Accessnet.state.nj.us slash business list search.asp. Division of Revenue. Business Support Services Office. 225 West State Street. 3rd FL. Trenton, New Jersey, 08608. 609 530 6400. 609 292 9292. State.nj.us slash New Jersey BGS. State.nj.us slash New Jersey Biz. Department of Treasury. Trademark Division. POG 453. 225 West State Street. 3rd FL. Trenton, New Jersey, 08625 State.nj.us slash New Jersey BGS slash services. New Mexico. Public Regulation Commission. Corporations Division. Podro 1269. Santa Fe, New Mexico, 8570-1269-800-947-4722-850-827-4500-850-827-4513, copy request. Fax, 850-827-4387. NMPRC.state.nm.us slash corporation. New York. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 41, State Street. Albany, New York, 12231. 518 474 6200. 518 473 2492. 900 835 2677. Corp. Search. Fax, 518-474-1418. DOS.state.ny.us slash corp slash corp www. North Carolina. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 2S. Salisbury ST. Raleigh, North Carolina, 27603. 919-733-4201. 919-807-2225-2251. 919-807-2164, Trademarks. Fax, 919-807-2039. Secretary.state.nc.us slash corporations. North Dakota. Secretary of State. Business Information. Capital Building. 600 East Boulevard. Ave. Number 108. Bismarck, North Dakota, 58505-0500-352-0867-701-224-2905-701-328-3662-4284. Fax, 701. 328-2992. State.nd.us slash SEC slash business slash business in slash Oregon New. Ohio. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 180 East Broad Street. 16th FL. Columbus, Ohio, 43215. 877-767-3453. 614-466. 3910. 
Fax, 614-466-3899. State.oh.us slash SOS. Oklahoma. 101 State Capitol Building. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73105. 405 521 3911. 900 820 2424. Record search. SOS.state.ok.us slash business slash business information. Oregon. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Public Service Building. 225 Capitol Street Northeast. Number 151. Salem, Oregon, 97310-1327-503-378-4166-503-986-2200. Fax, 503-378-4381. Filing in organicagone.com. SOS.state.or.us slash corporation. Pennsylvania. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 206 N Office Building. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 17120-717-787-1997-1057. Fax, 717-783-2244. Core.state.pa.us slash core. DOS.state.pa.us slash core slash corp. Rhode Island. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 100 North Main Street. Providence, Rhode Island, 02903-1335-401-222-3040. Fax, 401-222-1309. 155.212.254.78 slash corporations. Core.state.ri.us slash corporations. South Carolina. Corporations Division. Edgar A. Brown Building. Number 525. Columbia, South Carolina, 29201. 803 734 1800. 803-734-2158. Fax, 803-734-2164. SCSOS.com. SCSOS.com slash corp underscore search. Leginfo.state.sc.us slash secretary. South Dakota. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. State Capital. 500 East Capitol Avenue, Pierre, South Dakota, 57507050605773-3474-605-773-4845-605-773-5666, Trademarks, Fax, 605-773-4550. State.sd.us slash SOS. State.sd.us slash application slash ST02 corp look slash corp file dot ASP. State.sd.us slash state slash executive slash SOS slash SOS. Tennessee. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. 312 8th Avenue. 6th FL. Nashville, Tennessee, 37243. 615-741-2286. Fax, 615-741-7310. State.tn.us slash SOS slash service. TennesseeAnytime.org slash Sosnomy. Secretary of State. Trademarks Division. 312 8th Avenue. 6th FL. Nashville, Tennessee, 37243-0306. 615-741-0306. Fax, 615-741-7310. State.tn.us slash SOS slash service. TennesseeAnytime.org slash Sosnomy. Texas. 
Secretary of State. Corporations Division. POG 13697. Austin, Texas, 78711 3697. 512-463-5586-5545. 512-475-2700. Copies. Fax, 512-463-5709. SOS.state.tx.us SPS.state.tx.us slash corp ECPA.cpa.state.tx.us slash COA Utah Commerce Department Corporations Division 160E300 South Street 2nd FL Salt Lake City, Utah 84111 801 Five three zero six zero one two four thousand eight hundred and forty nine. Fax eight zero one five three zero six one one one. Commerce. Utah. Gov. Utah. Gov. Slash government. Slash online services. Vermont. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Eighty one River Street. Drawer nine. Montpelier, Vermont, 05609-1101. 802-828-2386. Fax, 802-828-2853. sec.state.vt.us slash SOS Home. Virginia. State Corporation Commission. Tyler Building. 1st FL. 1300 East Main Street. Richmond, Virginia, 23219. 804-786-3672. 804-371-9733. Fax, 804-371-9133. State.va.us slash SCC slash division slash CLK. State.va.us slash SCC slash division slash CLK slash Dirac Washington. Secretary of State. Corporations Division. Dolliver Building. 801 Capital Way South. Olympia, Washington, 98501. 360-753-7120-7115. Fax, 360-664-8781. SECstate.wa.gov slash core. SECstate.wa.gov slash core slash search.aspx. Master License Service. Business and Professionals Division. 405 Black Lake Boulevard. Olympia, Washington, 98507. 360 664 1400. 900 463 6000. Trade Name Search Fax, 360-570-7875 WA.gov slash Dole West Virginia Secretary of State Corporations Division Number 139 West State Capital Charleston, West Virginia, 25305-0776 304-4-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
wdfi.org slash corporation slash crisp9 wdfi.org slash corp slash forms state.wi.us slash agency slash sos wyoming secretary of state corporations division capital building cheyenne wyoming 82002 307 777 7311 fax 307 777 5339 soswy.state.wy.us soswy.state.wy.us slash corporate slash corporate chapter 2 the patent process patent introduction if we have the talent to invent new things that put people out of work then we have the talent to invent things to put them back to work great ideas are wherever you find them the man with a new idea is considered a crank until the new idea succeeds. Mark Twain. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves. Carl Jung. You can't stop an idea whose time has come. It's all about first protecting your idea then bringing it to market. Good ideas are a dime a dozen and they ain't worth a plug nickel if you don't act on them. The biggest myth in inventions is that if you create a good product, the world will beat a path to your door. This is false. Often, the world thinks it has seen it all and could care less about your product so be aware now that it'll take hustle to sell it at first. Even cars and computers were slow getting started. You gotta fight all the way. You gotta spell it all out for them, show them what it's used for then find marketing outlets. You gotta market it in the right place. You gotta have a marketing plan. You gotta make it all simple and cute. Show your prototypes to people you don't know and get honest feedback from them. If you have a great idea, people are often too stupid to realize it. Expect to miss on some of your shots both in the products you create and when you pitch to companies but the alternative is that you'll miss every shot you don't take. Unless you're an extreme loner, you can't make it alone. Either get friends, allies, or hired guns to help you. Success doesn't go to the swift, it goes to the one who keeps at it, improving his inventions and inventing new ones. Don't do it just for the money. Do it because you love the process. No matter what happens, stay calm. Don't let success or failure destroy you. Learn to take rejection. Sell yourself as well as your product. The way to make it as an inventor is to have an idea for a product that can be made for a penny and sold for a dollar. It doesn't have to be a great idea, it could simple but if it serves a useful function and you think people will buy it en masse, you should consider developing it. First off, it takes guts, the guts to believe in your idea enough that you draw it on paper, either manufacture a prototype yourself or find someone who'll do it for you either at a vocational school, a manufacturer in your local phone book or a company that you find in the Thomas Register, thomasregister.com at the library. Don't expect an investor, at least from people you don't know, until you at least have a prototype in hand to show people. You have to cough up the money for your own prototype. If you believe in yourself, this is part of the price you have to pay then pay for the patent application. You have to do some kind of test, whether over an internet news group or just asking a few disinterested people for honest opinions. Many inventors fail because they want too high a price for their product and people don't buy. You have to find the right price. Countries like China, the Philippines, Hong Kong, and Mexico have companies that would be happy to produce your product cheaper than in America. You have to fork over a few thousand for the patent application then if you get the patent, you have to market it in either of several ways, either by yourself through mail order slash internet sales, the internet, etc., selling the licensing rights or supplying major department stores and catalog houses with the product. If it's good, you could go worldwide. There are many laws to protect the inventor but the problem is that you have to proactively protect yourself because the knockoff companies can rip off your idea then tie you up in court for years while you pay legal fees then if you win, they just declare bankruptcy and vanish. Along with this, 
watch out for invention promotion and invention marketing companies. Some are good but some are scams. Just because someone advertises in a magazine like Family Handyman or Popular Mechanics doesn't mean they're legit. The magazines are not responsible for the content of their ads. They don't care as long as they get their ad money. Despite all this, having an idea, turning it into an invention then selling it en masse is the traditional old-fashioned American dream so if you've got the guts to believe in your idea and work at it, you could get rich and free. The simplest way is to create something, protect it legally, look for companies selling similar products, offer them a deal to produce and market your product in exchange for a royalty then sit back and collect the checks. It takes hard work and perseverance at first and common sense throughout. Get your ideas anywhere, by looking through magazines, on the internet and visiting the patent offices of various countries in order to look at the patents on record and realize that most are simple common sense ideas that someone had the guts to bring to life before they existed. Find a need and fill it. Oftentimes big corporations are too klutzy and arrogant to think that they need something some individual created in nowheresville. There is no demand for the product because such a product never existed before just like the personal computer in 1980. What the inventor often has to do is create his own little company, build up some demand and when it gets going pretty good, find a big company to license it to thus relieving him or her of all the hassles while they make money on the royalties. The best products are those that are disposable and people have to keep buying like disposable lighters or razors. Another market is the fad market like Rubik's Cube, Pet Rocks, Cabbage Patch Dolls, etc. There are three markets to consider. Consumer. Industrial. Government. Your product might appeal to one market or all three. Synthetic rubber appeals to all markets, liquid eraser appeals to all markets but your goal overall unless you're an advanced being will be to focus on the consumer market. Ideas are quite literally a dime a dozen. They mean nothing unless you sit down and do the work, develop the product, go through the tedious patent process then market and slash or license your product once you get the patent if, in fact, you do. Many would-be inventors simply don't have the patience or the fortitude to stick it out for the two years or so the process usually takes. It'll take at least several hundred dollars for the patent process and probably more to make a prototype of your product. The process is the same whether it's just a simple adjustment to an existing product or an elaborate new technology being developed by a major corporation. To apply for a patent, file an application along with about $400, to U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Washington, D.C., 20231. 800. 786-9199. USB2.gov. The PTO's examining division will conduct a search to determine whether your invention is novel and non-obvious. It may take up to two years. The PTO's response, called an office action, will probably detail the examiner's objections to your application. Patents rarely get approved right away. Objections could be anything from failure to show novelty to nitpicky omissions in the application. You must file an amendment to your application that addresses each of the examiner's concerns. Within six months, the examiner will respond with a second office action. If you're approved, send another $700 and your patent will arrive in the mail soon thereafter. Maintenance fees have to be paid at three and a half years, seven and a half years, and eleven and a half years from the date of issuance to keep the patent valid. If, after amending your application, the examiner rejects your claims, you can appeal to the Board of Appeals and Patent Interferences, the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit and, ultimately, the Supreme Court. The Patent Process 1. Every invention, no matter how simple, needs a patent if you don't want other people to copy it and sell it. A patent gives you legal protection for about 20 years. If anybody copies your product, you can sue them in court. A patent is the government's way to help protect creative people and inventors so that they have a chance to reap the financial rewards of what they create. There are three types of patents. Utility patents, an invention. Design patents, designs in manufacturing or building. 
Plant Patents, Plants Utility patents come in four categories. Machines Compositions of matter, chemicals Processes, a way to do something Man-made products, everything else you can't patent something that occurs in nature like a herb or a mathematical formula. You can create your own herb through genetic splicing and patent it or create something that uses a mathematical formula and patent it but you can't patent the math formula. With a patent, you can either sell the product yourself or license other people to make and sell it for a fee, usually upfront money and a percentage royalty on every product sold. Not everything can be patented. In order for a product to have the ability to be patented, it must meet three criteria. Novelty, it's different from anything out there even if it's a minor difference. Non-obviousness, it's not something that's readily apparent to an expert in the field. Will an expert look at it and say it's a pretty good idea? It has some unique originality to it as determined by the government patent examiner. Utility, it has some pro-social function or use even if it's frivolous. If your invention was already invented, which has happened thousands of times before, people inventing something that's already on the store shelves, or it's too similar to something already out there, the patent examiner will reject it. Do your homework up front. After you get your idea, do a patent search or hire a lawyer to do one and even call a few local businesses and ask if such a gadget already exists. It's rare for an inventor to come up with something that nobody else has ever thought of before and tried to patent. It's easy to do a free patent search. Go to usb2.gov and type in all the key terms you can think of that describes your invention. For now, the patents on the internet just go back to 1971. If it's possible that your product was invented before then meaning it's not very technically advanced, you should go to a patent depository library to do your research. You don't need the actual gadget to apply for the patent. You just have to describe exactly how it works. There are two types of patent applications. Provisional patent application. Regular patent application. A provisional patent application is a temporary patent application that gives you some protection while taking your product around trying to raise investment money and deciding whether it will be worth it to go on and develop it. This is much cheaper than a regular patent application. You get one year to do this then you either file for a regular patent or your legal protection is gone. The provisional patent protects your right to file a regular patent for a year. If somebody comes on the market with a similar product during that time, you can only sue them after you get a regular patent. The less detailed and more dishonest your patent appears to be, withholding information, the more likely it will be rejected whereupon you make the application better than do an appeal. If you get an offer from a company to license your product, hire an invention attorney to help get you the best deal possible. You could start your own company to manufacture and sell your product. Nobody enforces your patent rights but you. If you see patent infringement, you have to get your lawyer to file charges against them or bug them for an out-of-court settlement. In the end, the patent process is quite tedious. I could easily replicate what the government has written since it's public domain knowledge but the information changes every year so your best bet is to either get the free booklet or read about it at the website usb 2gov Nalo.com sells a book about patent drawings called the Patent Drawing Book, 800-992-6656, fax, 800-645-0895, 950 Parker Street Berkeley California 94710 The patent process too Learn the lingo and present the application in their terms not your own Don't define your product either too broadly or too narrow Keep it just right Think about it before you fill it out If you need help you might get some from the small business development center nearest you The way to do this is through the SBA SBA.gov, which manages small business development centers in every state usually on college and university campuses. Typically, what happens is that the examiner from the patent office may not accept your patent application as it is perhaps because of non-compliance of some regulations or for some other deficiency. 
he may want you to make one or more changes called amendments in which case you go back and make the changes and resubmit the application with the amendments. This back and forth procedure may be repeated several times before your patent application is finally approved or rejected. The examiner can, at any time, reject your patent permanently as a final rejection meaning that your idea does not qualify for a patent either because it's not novel enough, it was already done before or it just doesn't make logical sense. You have room for a certain number of appeals and if you feel strongly about your idea, you'll take advantage of them to present your product to a supposed objective panel of people for review. Once you exhaust your appeals, theoretically, that's it, case closed. There was one case of a guy who claimed he had a machine that virtually created electrical energy. It would render electricity as we know it obsolete. The patent office denied his patent. He went through all the appeals and was rejected. He claimed it was a conspiracy by the powerful utility companies and the patent office to deny him and he went to the media. He's still trying to get funding for his machine. The morale to the story is to expect these rejections. Take the recommendations of the examiner to heart, rewrite your proposal and resubmit. Whenever you get a written rejection, make it a point to make personal contact with the examiner. Call him on the phone, ask him his opinion, ask him if he thinks the idea has some merit worthy of a patent then pump him for whatever he's willing to say. This is good for two reasons, first you get his advice and then you soften him up for future resubmissions. Take these rejections as free advice of things that you would have otherwise spent money on a patent attorney to uncover in a preliminary search of your product. If your idea is rejected based on the fact that it's similar to other patents, rethink it, redefine it and make it more specific and different from all the other similar ideas out there. After your final rejection, you can still go back to the drawing board, redo your product and resubmit it in what are called continuation or continuation in part patent applications. You also have the right to appeal if you still think your product is worthy of being patented after these applications are scrutinized and rejected. These filings give you a second and third chance to get your invention looked at by the patent office. These procedures are different from the original filing of your patent application and you might need help in processing the application forms. Finally, if these forms fail, your last resort is to file an appeal to the Board of Appeals. You file more forms along with a brief stating your case as to why you believe the product deserves a patent. The examiner also files a brief stating his case as to why the product doesn't deserve a patent. The Board of Appeals considers both sides and renders its verdict and that's it, case closed. Your next resort could be a case in either the Court of Customs and Patent Appeals or Civil Court which involves lawyers and could get expensive for your average small-time inventor. Barring that, you could go to the media as in the example of our friend above with his electrical machine. You can use your product in business during the patent application process by simply putting a patent pending logo on it signaling to others that it is in the process of being legally protected. I must warn you that there are several companies that specialize in knocking off the smaller guys, that is, they'll copy your product and sell it even if it is patented. It's your obligation to find them and fight them so that means you have to foot the legal bills of taking them to court. These knock-off companies know that you don't have much money so they'll just merely prolong the legal battle with their lawyers until you're defeated and wiped out. It might be a good idea to find a reputable investor to work with you on your products but watch them too, they'll talk the talk then kick you out when they get what they want. Poor man's patent and trademark. Simply write an article about your product complete with diagrams, get a copyright application from loc.gov, pay about $20 and you get a copyright which proves that you had the product idea on a certain date. Provisional patent info. A provisional patent application is a temporary patent application that costs about $105. It gives you some protection while taking your product around trying to raise investment money and deciding whether it will be worth it to go on and develop it. This is much cheaper than a regular patent application. You get one year to do this then you either file for a regular patent or your legal protection is gone. The provisional patent protects your right to file a regular patent for a year. If somebody comes on the market with a similar product during that time, 
you can only sue them after you get a regular patent. USB2.gov Patent Attorneys and Agents Inventors may prepare their own applications and file them in the Patent and Trademark Office and conduct the proceedings themselves but unless they are familiar with these matters or study them in detail, they may get into considerable difficulty. Most inventors employ the services of registered patent attorneys or patent agents. The law gives the Patent and Trademark Office the power to make rules and regulations governing conduct and the recognition of patent attorneys and agents to practice before the Patent and Trademark Office. Persons who are not recognized by the Patent and Trademark Office for this practice are not permitted by law to represent inventors before the Patent and Trademark Office. The Patent and Trademark Office maintains a register of attorneys and agents. To be admitted to this register, a person must comply with the regulations prescribed by the office, which require a showing that the person is of good moral character and of good repute and that he slash she has the legal and scientific and technical qualifications necessary to render applicants for patents a valuable service. Certain of these qualifications must be demonstrated by the passing of an examination. Those admitted to the examination must have a college degree in engineering or physical science or the equivalent of such a degree. The Patent and Trademark Office registers both attorneys at law and persons who are not attorneys at law. The former persons are now referred to as patent attorneys and the latter persons are referred to as patent agents. The Patent and Trademark Office publishes a directory of all registered patent attorneys and agents who have indicated their availability to accept new clients, arranged by states, cities, and foreign countries. The telephone directories of most large cities have, in the classified section, a heading for patent attorneys under which those in that area are listed. Many large cities have associations of patent attorneys. The fees charged to inventors by patent attorneys and agents for their professional services are not subject to regulation by the Patent and Trademark Office. Definite evidence of overcharging may afford basis for patent and trademark office action but the office rarely intervenes in disputes concerning fees. USB to .gov slash web slash offices slash decom slash olea slash oed, USP to Office of Enrollment and Discipline, General Description of Patent Bar Examination Process and Procedure. USB to .gov slash web slash offices slash decom slash olea slash roster, List of Patent Attorneys. USB to .gov slash web slash offices slash decom slash olea slash oed slash roster slash index dot html, Patent Attorneys. USB to .gov slash web slash offices slash decom slash olea slash oed slash exam regist dot htm, USP to general requirements bulletin for patent bar registration. NAP.org, National Association of Patent Practitioners. IPLA.org, Intellectual Property Law Association. The U.S. Patent Office, 800-221-9428. USB to .gov, sells lists of attorneys authorized to work as patent attorneys, roster of attorneys and agents registered to practice before the U.S. Patent Office. The Martin Hubble Law Directory at the library lists patent attorneys. There's also the Directory of Intellectual Property Lawyers and Patent Agents. Disclosure form slash a minor form of patent. One of the services provided for inventors is the acceptance and preservation for a two-year period of papers disclosing an invention. This costs about $10 and will protect your idea without it being patented. This disclosure is accepted as evidence of the dates of conception of the invention. It will be retained for two years at which time it will be destroyed unless it is referred to in a separate letter in a related patent application. A fee must accompany the disclosure. The disclosure is limited to written matter or drawings on paper or other thin, flexible material, such as linen or plastic drafting material, having dimensions, or being folded to dimensions not to exceed 8 minus a half x 13 inches, 21.6 by 33.0 centimeters. Photographs are acceptable. Each page should be numbered. Text and drawings should be of such quality as to permit reproduction. The disclosure must be accompanied by a stamped, self-addressed envelope and a duplicate copy also signed by the inventor. 
the papers will be stamped with an identifying number and returned with the reminder that the disclosure document may be relied upon only as evidence of the date of conception and that an application must be filed in order to provide patent protection. Maintenance fees after you get the patent. All utility patents are subject to the payment of maintenance fees which must be paid to maintain the patent in force. These fees are due at 3 and a half, 7 and a half, and 11 and a half years from the date the patent is granted and can be paid without a surcharge during the window period which is the 6 month period preceding each due date, example 3 years to 3 years and 6 months, etc. Failure to pay the current maintenance fee on time may result in expiration of the patent. A 6 month grace period is provided when the maintenance fee may be paid with a surcharge. The grace period is the six-month period immediately following the due date. The Patent and Trademark Office does not mail notices to patent owners that maintenance fees are due. If, however, the maintenance fee is not paid on time, efforts are made to remind the responsible party that the maintenance fee may be paid during the grace period with a surcharge. Foreign Applicants for United States Patents the patent laws of the United States make no discrimination with respect to the citizenship of the inventor. Any inventor, regardless of his citizenship, may apply for a patent on the same basis as a U.S. citizen. There are, however, a number of particular points of special interest to applicants located in foreign countries. The application for patent in the United States must be made by the inventor and the inventor must sign the oath or declaration, with certain exceptions, differing from the law in many countries where the signature of the inventor and an oath of inventorship are not necessary. If the inventor is dead, the application may be made by his executor or administrator or equivalent and in the case of mental disability it may be made by his legal representative, guardian. No United States patent can be obtained if the invention was patented abroad before applying in the United States by the inventor or his legal representatives or assigns on an application filed more than 12 months before filing in the United States. Six months are allowed in the case of a design patent. An application for a patent filed in the United States by any person who has previously regularly filed an application for a patent for the same invention in a foreign country which affords similar privileges to citizens of the United States shall have the same force and effect for the purpose of overcoming intervening acts of others as if filed in the United States on the date on which the application for a patent for the same invention was first filed in such foreign country, provided the Application in the United States is filed within 12 months, 6 months in the case of a design patent, from the earliest date on which any such foreign application was filed. A copy of the foreign application certified by the patent office of the country in which it was filed is required to secure this right of priority. If any application for a patent has been filed in any foreign country by the applicant or by his legal representatives or assigns prior to his application in the United States, the applicant must, in the oath or declaration accompanying the application, state the country in which the earliest such application has been filed, giving the date of filing the application, and all applications filed more than a year before the filing in the United States must also be recited in the oath or declaration. An oath or declaration must be made with respect to every application. When the applicant is in a foreign country the oath or affirmation may be before any diplomatic or consular officer of the United States or before any officer having an official seal and authorized to administer oaths in the foreign country, whose authority shall be proved by a certificate of a diplomatic or consular officer of the United States, the oath being attested in all cases by the proper official seal of the officer before whom the oath is made. When the oath is taken before an officer in the country foreign to the United States, all the application papers, except the drawing, must be attached together and a ribbon passed one or more times through all the sheets of the application and the ends of the ribbons brought together under the seal before the latter is affixed and impressed or each sheet must be impressed with the official seal of the officer before whom the oath was taken. If the application is filed by the legal representative, executive, administrator, etc., of a deceased inventor, the legal representative must make the oath or declaration. When a declaration is used, the ribboning procedure is not necessary, nor is it necessary to appear before an official in connection with the making of a declaration. 
A foreign applicant may be represented by any patent attorney or agent who is registered to practice before the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Chapter 3 After you get the patent Infringement of patent slash patent infringement Infringement of a patent consists in the unauthorized making, using or selling of the patented invention within the territory of the United States, during the term of the patent. One company accuses another of infringing on their patents. If you follow the business news, you'll see some of the biggest companies regularly involved in patent infringement lawsuits. It's huge. There are hundreds of these lawsuits going on right now. It cost BlackBerry $600 million. Another company claimed they stole their idea of email on a portable machine. It's not exactly an original idea. It was the next logical step for email but it still cost BlackBerry all that money. Monsanto, a big company, has even sued farmers for using its genetically modified seeds. If you're a small timer and people are infringing on your patent, the time and money you spend filing lawsuits might not be worth it because if you win judgments against companies, they just declare bankruptcy and disappear, reopening under another name. Establish market dominance as fast as you can before the copycats come out. If your product is good you will get copycats regardless of how many patents you have on it. If one company accuses another of patent infringement, a simple way to solve the problem is a patent troll, simply make a deal with the company to license the patent for a set period of time. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent underscore troll. If a patent is infringed, the patentee may sue for relief in the appropriate federal court. The patentee may ask the court for an injunction to prevent the continuation of the infringement and may also ask the court for an award of damages because of the infringement. In such an infringement suit, the defendant may raise the question of the validity of the patent, which is then decided by the court. The defendant may also aver that what is being done does not constitute infringement. Infringement is determined primarily by the language of the claims of the patent and, if what the defendant is making does not fall within the language of any of the claims of the patent, there is no infringement. Suits for infringement of patents follow the rules of procedure of the federal courts. From the decision of the district court, there is an appeal to the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. The Supreme Court may thereafter take a case by writ of certiorari. If the United States government infringes a patent, the patentee has a remedy for damages in the United States Claims Court. The government may use any patented invention without permission of the patentee but the patentee is entitled to obtain compensation for the use by or for the government. If the patentee notifies anyone that is infringing the patent or threatens suit, the one charged with infringement may start the suit in a federal court. An improvement invention may be patentable but it might infringe a prior unexpired patent for the invention improved upon, if there is one. Chipworks.com, Infringement Analysis, Find the Evidence to Strengthen the Patent Claim and Licensing Position. Patentclaim.com en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent underscore infringement hauserlabs.com slash patent underscore infringement dot htm speedus.com slash patent hyphen infringement hyphen litigation dot php ptnowire.com, Pearson Technologies, Consultation on Fiber Optic System Installation and Patent Infringement Problems en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash software underscore patent underscore debate rapid-response-consulting.com slash patent hyphen infringement dot html patent-infringement.org Lawyers. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash software underscore patent. Patentquality.com. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent. Patent-ideas.com slash pinfringement.htm. McPherson-quack.com represent plaintiffs and defendants in patent infringement disputes. AMS-inc.com slash litigation slash patent.htm. Patent Infringement Surveys in Litigation Engadget.com Patent-Ideas.com slash infringement.htm Lawyers RichardPRICAP.com slash patent underscore infringement.htm 
Private Investigation Services. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash doctrine underscore of underscore equivalents. hsrinsider.com slash article slash 2c1 legal.html, understanding patent infringement. Biotechbeachlaw.com slash litigation.html, San Diego Patent Attorney, 858-587-2510. B-i-network.com slash blog slash imhoff slash archive slash 2006 slash 10 slash from underscore patent underscore inf.php. Inventors. Dead website slash library slash bl slash toc slash bl underscore patent infringement dot htm. IP contingency dot tripod dot com slash patent blog. Techhelicon.com, locate an expert witness for lawsuits. TMS.org slash pub slash journal slash joem slash matters slash matters hyphen 9201.html, patent infringement and relief for the patent owner. Intellectlawgroup.com slash patent underscore infringement underscore opinion dot htm. Iusementis.com slash patent slash faq slash infringement. Techlawjournal.com. Patentcafe.com slash insurance.asp, patent portfolio infringement insurance. Patentcafe.com. Engadget.com. Patentcafe.com slash enforcement.asp, General Patent Corporation International. Ideamotics.com slash pd2.htm, patent infringement evaluation in software. Techhelicon.com slash patent.shtml, Patent Portfolio Analysis Updragshuset.se, Patent Research Company Crumme.com slash DWK slash Expert, Consultation and Expert Testimony Regarding Patent Infringement in Computer Software ColoradoPatents.com, Denver Patent Trademark Firm Focusing on Patent and Trademark Infringement IPWatchdog.com slash Patent Underscore Infringement.html ChillingEffects.org OndaTechno.com, Patent Attorneys PatentOffices.com slash pinfringement.htm Patent-infringement-attorneys.com SiliconValley.com LJCom.com slash PatexB.htm Analyze Patent Claims for Infringement and Validity JanLaw.com, Lawyers obirmayerpatent.com slash accused hyphen of hyphen infringement.php, lawyers. infringement.blogs.com slash philip underscore brooks underscore patent underscore infr slash archives.html. infringement.blogs.com. smallbusiness.findlaw.com slash patent slash enforce hyphen patent slash patent hyphen litigation.html. marksmen.com. Zeedmanconsulting.com Patent infringement lawsuits is big business slash patent trolls. People file patents on something very general which can be made in many different ways but then when someone makes something truly unique, some of these patent owners of a very general patent lie in wait to sue this new patent owner. An example is a guy who created a low-cost heart monitor. He did a patent search and found people with patents on such general things as a device to change the physiological functioning of the body. The patent holder for this patent could sue him if he goes forward in manufacturing his heart monitor. He said he won't even bother. A patent troll buys a patent and sits on it, not intending to develop it, just waiting for somebody else to create something similar to the patent then sue them. Avajournal.com slash mobile slash comments slash x hyphen Kirkland underscore partner underscore buys underscore four five zero zero underscore patents underscore forms underscore new underscore firm underscore two underscore sue underscore infringers. Androidpolice.com Before its news.com slash libertarian slash two zero one three slash zero two slash deep hyphen dive hyphen software hyphen patents hyphen and hyphen the hyphen rise hyphen of hyphen patent hyphen trolls hyphen two four eight nine four three four dot html bits dot blogs dot new york times dot com slash two zero zero nine slash zero three slash three zero slash trolling hyphen for hyphen patents hyphen to hyphen fight hyphen patent hyphen trolls 
blogit.com slash 2011 slash 11 slash 01 slash what hyphen inventors hyphen need hyphen to hyphen no hyphen about hyphen the hyphen new hyphen patent hyphen law blog.timesunion.com slash roger green slash category slash litigation blogs.wsj.com slash law slash 2008 slash 11 slash 24 slash in hyphen fight hyphen against hyphen patent hyphen trolls hyphen a hyphen new hyphen arrow hyphen in hyphen the hyphen quiver bloomberg.com brandsandpatents.com businesses.generalpatent.com slash patent hyphen infringement businessdm.com slash woman hyphen entrepreneur slash what hyphen is hyphen a hyphen patent hyphen troll dot html chicago lawyer magazine dot com slash article slash two zero one three slash zero four slash zero one slash innovation hyphen patent hyphen trolls dot aspx cpip dot gmu dot edu slash category slash patent hyphen litigation cpip.gmu.edu slash tag slash patents cyberlaw.stanford.edu slash blog slash 2010 slash 10 slash 1 hyphen cheer hyphen patent hyphen trolls edisonnation.com slash forum slash patents slash topics slash r hyphen trolls hyphen really hyphen evil EFF.org slash deep link slash 2013 slash 02 slash deep hyphen dive hyphen software hyphen patents hyphen and hyphen rise hyphen patent hyphen trolls. EN.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent underscore troll. EN.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash talk colon patent underscore troll. In CCL.opentopia.com slash term slash patent underscore troll. Encyclopedia2.thefreedictionary.com slash patent plus sign troll. English.turkseblgi.com slash patent plus sign troll. Everettgeip.com, sell your patents to tech buyers. Finance careers. Dead website slash od slash jp slash g slash patent underscore trolls dot htm. Forbes.com slash site slash CIO central slash 2011 slash 08 slash 09 slash turn hyphen the hyphen tables hyphen on hyphen patent hyphen trolls. Forbes.com slash site slash CIO central slash 2013 slash 02 slash 01 slash not hyphen so hyphen scary hyphen after hyphen all hyphen in hyphen defense hyphen of hyphen patent hyphen trolls. Forums.appleinsider.com slash t slash 137958 slash apple hyphen accused hyphen of hyphen feeding hyphen intellectual hyphen property hyphen to hyphen patent hyphen troll. Freeconomics.com slash 2011 slash 07 slash 11 slash how hyphen patent hyphen trolling hyphen taxes hyphen innovation. Generalpatent.com slash patents hyphen patent hyphen enforcement hyphen and hyphen patent hyphen trolls. Generalpatent.com slash patent hyphen troll hyphen patent hyphen trolls. Gigaom.com slash 2013 slash 04 slash 06 slash can hyphen big hyphen tech hyphen overcome hyphen its hyphen love hyphen hate hyphen relationship hyphen and hyphen destroy hyphen patent hyphen trolls hyphen once hyphen and hyphen for hyphen all. Grocco.com slash media slash video slash American underscore dream slash patent underscore protection dot ASPX. iBuyTechPatents.com. 2PDA.com. IMS-ExpertServices.com slash blog slash 2012 slash patent hyphen trolls hyphen on hyphen trial. INC.com slash magazine slash 201202 slash Chris hyphen fries wick slash patent hyphen troll hyphen toll hyphen on hyphen businesses dot html. Infringement.blogs.com slash philip underscore brooks underscore patent underscore infr slash patent underscore trolls. Infringementupdates.com. Inography.biz. Inography.com, Monet eyes IP assets. Inventors. Dead website slash b slash 2011 slash 06 slash 18 slash no pot of gold with patent trolls dot htm. Inventors dot general patent dot com slash inventor hyphen resources slash patent hyphen infringement.
IP close up dot wordpress dot com slash two zero one three slash zero five slash two zero slash article hyphen traces hyphen rise hyphen of hyphen a hyphen phone hyphen patent hyphen over hyphen one one hyphen years hyphen and hyphen four hyphen owners. IP digit dot eu slash two zero one one slash one zero slash what hyphen to hyphen think hyphen of hyphen patent hyphen trolls hyphen the hyphen return. IP kitten dot blogspot dot co dot uk slash two zero one three slash zero six slash patent hyphen litigation hyphen through hyphen crowd hyphen funding dot html. IP watchdog dot com. IP watchdog dot com. Mobile dot os news dot com slash story dot php slash two three seven six seven slash after underscore the underscore patent underscore troll underscore enter underscore the underscore copyright underscore troll. NEW.EDU slash resources slash intellectual hyphen property. Patentlaw.typepad.com. Patentleo.com. Patentleo.com. Patenttrolls.org slash blog. Rackspace.com slash blog slash patent hyphen trolls hyphen make hyphen them hyphen pay. Rackspace.com slash blog slash y hyphen rackspace hyphen suit hyphen the hyphen most hyphen notorious hyphen patent hyphen troll hyphen in hyphen America. Tech.fortune.cnn.com slash tag slash patent hyphen troll. Techdirt.com. Techliberation.com slash 2010 slash 10 slash 11 slash 1 hyphen cheer hyphen for hyphen patent hyphen trolls. Ted.com slash conversation slash 6705 slash patent underscore trolls underscore y underscore don underscore t underscore they dot html. The Atlantic Cities.com slash technology slash 2012 slash 04 slash y hyphen patent hyphen troll hyphen Luxembourg hyphen suing hyphen us hyphen public hyphen transit hyphen agency slash 1819. The Daily Record.com slash 2012 slash 01 slash 23 slash patent hyphen troll hyphen case hyphen comes hyphen to hyphen Maryland. The IP Law Blog.com. The Law Pastor.com. Uprox.com slash technology slash 2013 slash 01 slash patent hyphen trolls hyphen attempting hyphen to hyphen extort hyphen companies hyphen for hyphen using hyphen scanners hyphen properly. WallStreetOasis.com slash forum slash entrepreneurship hyphen and hyphen patent hyphen lawsuits. ZapMeta.com slash sell plus sign patents. ZDNet.com. Trade secrets slash confidential information. If you patent a product, you generally have 20 years to make your fortune before the patent expires. Some patent owners try to get around this by making any slight modification in their product that satisfies the criteria for a new patent and get to protect what is essentially the same product for another 20 years. This is common with profitable drugs. The manufacturer comes out with a supposedly better version but it's really still the same drug in a new package. If you opt for a trade secret, you don't have to bother with the 20-year limit on patents. Provided the product is good, you can theoretically keep making money from your monopolistic concept but I have rarely seen any product that someone hasn't imitated. Coca-Cola's supposed trade secret has many competitors. KFC tastes like any other baked or fried chicken to me. Trade secrets are not protected by federal laws. They're dealt with through state laws. The three criteria generally necessary to qualify for trade secret protection are 1. It must have commercial value. 2. The information must be secret and not readily available to the public through books, websites, education, etc. 3. The owner must take reasonable steps to keep it secret. The legal standard to establish that you indeed have a trade secret is based on the following criteria. How far will you go to protect the secrecy of your information in general? How far do you go to give this information only to employees who need it and to what extent do you warn them about severe consequences if they pass it around to others? To what extent is this common knowledge or known to none but you? What is the monetary value of the information to you and to competitors? Establish a trade secret and the legal protection behind it by going over the above steps with an intellectual property attorney. You can only legally protect a trade secret if you take proactive steps to maintain its secrecy.
Once a trade secret becomes public knowledge, the information is out there. It can no longer be a trade secret. The law defines trade secrets as all forms and types of financial, business, scientific, technical, economic, or engineering information, including patterns, plans, compilations, program devices, formulas, designs, prototypes, methods, techniques, processes, procedures, programs or codes, whether tangible or intangible and whether or how store, compiled, or memorialized physically, electronically, graphically, photographically, or in writing if a. The owner thereof has taken reasonable measures to keep such information secret and b. The information derives independent economic value, actual or potential, from not being generally known to and not being readily ascertainable through proper means by the public. A trade secret is information that has some business value to its owner and is not known or discovered by others. To have trade secret protection, there are rules you must follow. You have to keep it a secret. If a breach the secret by giving it out to somebody, you've lost the legal power to keep the trade secret thereby the ability to charge anyone who misappropriates it. Because of this, you can't have a patent and a trade secret at the same time. Pick one or the other but it's not that simple. The federal courts have allowed software to be patented while keeping its code secret. Legally, with trade secrets, you're not supposed to tell anyone else how it's made and you're supposed to write up provisions for your employees that they'll be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law should they reveal their trade secret to anyone outside the company. As long as you have your trade secret and people want your product, you have a cash cow provided nobody does a good job imitating it. If you see clones out there, you have to directly prove that they stole it from you which is difficult to do. You can have employees sign trade secret and non-compete agreements but this is not enough. You have to keep the secret information secret by keeping it hidden and not passing it around to anyone who wants to look at it. By keeping a trade secret, your invention or great idea doesn't have to go public as it would with a patent after it expires in 20 years. The problem is that if there is a public disclosure of the trade secret or it is knocked off, imitated or independently discovered, you have no legal recourse. To protect yourself with employees and business colleagues, make them all sign a confidentiality agreement stating they must keep the information secret. If you try to classify everything in your business as a trade secret, even common stuff, chances are your lawsuits for TS violations will be thrown out of court. Only classify what's valuable that you seriously want to protect as a trade secret if you want to be taken seriously. The tighter your security measures, the more viable the information is as a trade secret. If anyone has been entrusted a trade secret and steals it, it's called misappropriation. Have them sign an agreement stating they can't use this information outside the company. In order to win in court, you have to prove the following. That a TS existed at the time. That the defendant received this information. Defendant was instructed not to disclose this information. Defendant used the information outside the company anyway. If your company deals with highly sensitive information, whenever an employee leaves, you should draft up a contract of specific information that he's not allowed to reveal to anyone or use for himself. Trade secrets overlap the subject matter of copyrights and patents. The American law that covers them is the Uniform Trade Secrets Act slash UTSA, drafted by the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws at 676 North St. Clair St., No. 1700, Chicago, Illinois, 60611. As long as efforts have been made to preserve secrecy, a suit may be brought to redress the misappropriation or wrongful taking of almost any kind of information of competitive value. Misappropriation includes industrial espionage and breaches of confidential relationships, for example, by former employees, but it does not include reverse engineering. Thus, a trade secret suit will not succeed if an aspect of a product's design or construction was obtained by examining an item purchased in the marketplace. Nor will a suit be useful against those who independently discover a secret process or recompile commercially valuable information.
the risk of being accused of misappropriating a trade secret is never high, particularly if one seeks competent legal advice before using unlicensed information that has not been obtained through reverse engineering. Independent contractors who come up with valuable information generally own it and can license it to the company. There is no expiration date on trade secrets. State law governs trade secrets. Employees who come up with valuable ideas generally don't own them, the company does. Courts have a lot of leeway in determining fault in trade secret cases. They can prevent others from using misappropriated trade secrets after they have become public and potentially make large judgments for the damage the trade secret owner suffered through loss of business due to the stolen trade secret. There is a criminal element to trade secrets. Getting a trade secret from a U.S. business without authorization and giving it to a foreign government, agent, or company is a federal crime called economic espionage. Refer to the Economic Espionage Act of 1996 at 18 U.S.C. 1831. Using a trade secret gotten without authorization for financial gain is also a federal crime. Refer to the theft of trade secrets at 18 U.S.C. 1831. Trade Secret Websites law.cornell.edu slash uniform slash vol7.html, Trade Secret Laws nsi.org slash library slash espionage slash usta.htm, The Uniform Trade Secrets Act, UTSA abanit.org slash litigation slash committees slash business dort slash case notes underscore secrets.html agt.com Baltimore Lawyers. iPlaw.org. Baldwins.com. Volo.com slash exercise slash default.asp, trade secrets, and intellectual property law. BSKB.com, Lawyers. CCSUN57.cc.ntu.edu.tw slash tilde r6621110 slash law slash trade law hyphen us hyphen utsa. Chanlaw.com. Lawyers. CouncilIP.com, Houston Lawyers. Cybercrime.gov. EFF.org slash IP. EN.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash economic underscore espionage underscore act underscore of underscore 1996. EN.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash intellectual underscore property. EN.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash public underscore domain en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash uniform underscore trade underscore secrets underscore act. entrepreneur.com slash encyclopedia slash term slash 82540.html. feldman-law.com, lawyers. findlaw.com. gandwlaw.com, trade secret licensing and litigation services. gfiplaw.com, Goldstein, Fawcett, and Prebeg. Houston Law Firm. Gun Lee.com, Texas Lawyers. HG.org slash Intel Guide to Intellectual Property Law. HIMLS Computer Law.com slash TRDSCRT.htm, San Diego Lawyer. IPLawfirm.com. TradeSecrets.org. Lumanomont.com. IPlegal.com slash lib slash tradzc1.html IPmall.info JacksonLewis.com, Lawyers LAW.freeadvice.com slash intellectual underscore property slash trade underscore secrets Littler.com slash practice area slash index.cfm, Lawyers Nalo.com, non-disclosure agreement and non-compete agreement forms nsi.org slash library slash espionage slash usta.htm, Uniform Trade Secrets Act. okpatents.com, law firm. paradifirm.com slash trade underscore secrets.html, Chicago Lawyers. patents.com slash secrets.htm. pbs.org slash trade secrets en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash trade underscore secret pbs.org slash trade secrets slash transcript dot html rmarkhalligan.com trade secret asset management 
staples.com slash sbd slash content slash article slash o hyphen r slash protecting trade secrets dot html tradesecret.com tradesecrets.blogspot.com ipwatchdog.com slash tradesecret.html tradesecrets.gov.ab.ca shepherdlawgroup.com boston lawyers usdoj.gov slash criminal slash cybercrime Chapter 4. Patent Resources The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office U.S. Patent and Trademark Office U.S. Department of Commerce Washington, D.C. 20231 703-308 Help U.S. Beta.gov 703-557-3158 Recorded Line Gives General Information 703-305-8747, automated line which provides status information about pending trademark applications. 703-308-1200 You can purchase copies of Patents 800-786-9199 USB to .gov General Inquiries, Free Booklets, Basic Facts About Patents a guide to filing a patent application disclosure document program price list of fees and patent application form usb patents.usb2.gov patents.usb2.gov 800 pto 9199 usb togovernor slash web slash menu slash search.html usb togovernor slash patft slash index.html Patent search. USB to slash web slash offices slash com slash 2p slash index dot htm, Office of Independent Inventor Programs, has resources for inventors. USB to slash web slash offices slash poc slash prov app dot htm, USB to slash web slash patent fo slash toc dot html. USB to gov slash web slash trad underscore reg underscore info slash toc dot html trademark info USB to gov slash go slash kids USB to gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash ahr pa slash opa slash pto today magazine uspto today need adobe acrobat reader software you can order copies of patents if you have the patent number for about three dollar per copy Choice of black and white or color, which is about $8. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Scientific Document Library. Crystal Valley, VA. 703 557 5622. Massive Library open to the public, will conduct limited patent searches for $150. Some other information, like their already completed reports, are free. U.S. Government Printing Office. Superintendent of Documents. Washington, D.C. 20402. 202-783-3228. gpo.gov slash su underscore docs. Bookstore.gpo.gov. Order the booklet, General Information. Concerning patents at a cost of about $2.00. Hashtag 003-004-00641-2. Also the newsletter Patent Official Gazette. Some USPTO Publications. Patents. The specification and accompanying drawings of all patents are published on the same day they are granted and printed copies are sold to the public by the Patent and Trademark Office. Over 5 million patents have been issued. Printed copies of any patent, identified by its patent number, may be purchased from the Patent and Trademark Office. Future patents classified in subclasses containing subject matter of interest may be obtained, as they issue, by prepayment of a deposit and a service charge. For the cost of such subscription service, a separate inquiry should be sent to the Patent and Trademark Office. Official Gazette of the United States Patent and Trademark Office The Official Gazette of the United States Patent and Trademark Office is the official journal relating to patents and trademarks. It has been published weekly since January 1872, 
replacing the old patent office reports, and is now issued each Tuesday in two parts, one describing patents and the other trademarks. It contains a claim and a selected figure of the drawings of each patent granted on that day, notices of patent and trademark suits, indexes of patents and patentees, list of patents available for license or sale, and much general information such as orders notices, changes in rules, changes in classification, etc. The official gazette is sold on subscription and by single copies by the Superintendent of Documents, U.S. Government Printing Office, Washington, D.C. 20402, GPO.gov. The illustrations and claims of the patents are arranged in the official gazette according to the Patent and Trademark Office classification of subject matter, permitting ready reference to patents in any particular field. Street addresses of patentees and a geographical index of residents of inventors are included. Copies of the official gazette may be found in public libraries of larger cities. Index of Patents This annual index to the official gazette is currently in two volumes, one an index of patentees and the other an index by subject matter of the patents. Sold by Superintendent of Documents Index of Trademarks an annual index of registrants of trademarks. Sold by Superintendent of Documents. Manual of Classification. A loose leaf book containing a list of all the classes and subclasses of inventions in the Patent and Trademark Office classification systems, a subject matter index, and other information relating to classification. Substitute pages are issued from time to time. Annual subscription includes the basic manual and substitute pages. Sold by Superintendent of Documents. Classification definitions contains the changes in classification of patents as well as definitions of new and revised classes and subclasses. Sold by Patent and Trademark Office. Title 37 Code of Federal Regulations includes rules of practice for patents, trademarks, and copyrights. Available from the Superintendent of Documents. Basic facts about trademarks. Contains general information for the layman about applications for and registration of trademarks and service marks. Copies may be purchased from Superintendent of Documents. Directory of Registered Patent Attorneys and Agents arranged by states and countries. An alphabetical and geographical listing of patent attorneys and agents registered to practice before the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Sold by Superintendent of Documents. Manual of Patent Examining Procedure. A loose-leaf manual which serves primarily as a detailed reference work on patent examining practice and procedure for the Patent and Trademark Office's examining core. Subscription service includes basic manual, quarterly revisions, and change notices. Sold by Superintendent of Documents. The Story of the United States Patent Office. A chronological account of the development of the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and patent system and of inventions which had unusual impact on the American economy and society. Sold by Superintendent of Documents. Depository Search Libraries. The Scientific and Technical Information Center of the Patent and Trademark Office at Crystal Plaza 3, 2021, Jefferson Davis Highway, Arlington, Virginia is the main patent library. Patent applicants, their attorneys, or agents and the general public are entitled to use the records and files in the examiner's rooms. The search room is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday except on federal holidays. There are other patent and trademark office libraries located throughout the U.S. which are called Patent and Trademark Depository Libraries, PTDL. You could conduct your own patent search at either the Scientific Document Library in Arlington or go to one of the 72 patent depository libraries scattered all over the country but by now, most of this stuff should be available on the internet. They sell CD-ROMs with this material on it too. For more information, contact Office of Patent Depository Library Programs U.S. Patent and Trademark Office 1921, Jefferson Davis Highway. Crystal Mall 2, number 306. Arlington, Virginia, 22202. 800 435 7735.
800-786-9199-703-557-9685 usb gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash edo slash ptdl Due to variations in the scope of patent collections among the patent and trademark depository libraries and in their hours of service to the public, anyone contemplating the use of the patent documents at a particular library is advised to contact that library in advance about its collection and hours so as to avert possible inconvenience. Alabama Auburn University Libraries 205-844-1747 Birmingham Public Library 205-266-3680 Alaska Anchorage, Z.J. Lusick Public Library 907-261-2916 Arizona Tempe, Noble Library Arizona State University 602-965-7607 Little Rock, Arkansas State University. 501-682-2063. California. Los Angeles City Library. 213-612-3273. Sacramento, California State Library. 916-654-0069. San Diego Public Library. 619-236. 5813. Sunnyvale Patent Clearing House. 408 730 7290. Colorado. Denver Public Library. 303 640 8847. Connecticut. New Haven, Science Park Library. 203 786 5447. Delaware. Newark. University of Delaware Library 302-451-2965 District of Columbia Washington, Howard University 202-806-7252 Florida Fort Lauderdale, Broward County Main Library 305-357-7444 Miami-Dade Public Library 305-375-2665 Orlando, University of Central Florida Libraries 407-823-2562 Tampa, Tampa Campus Library University of South Florida 813-974-2726 Georgia Atlanta, Price Gilbert Memorial Library Georgia Institute of Technology Hawaii Honolulu, Hawaii State Public Library System 808-586-3477 Idaho Moscow, Library University of Idaho 208-885-6235 Illinois Chicago Public Library 312-269-2865 Springfield, Illinois State Library 217-782-5659 Indiana Indianapolis Marion County Public Library 317-269-1741 West Lafayette, Sigismund Engineering Laboratory Purdue University 317-494-2873 Iowa Des Moines, State Library of Iowa. 515-281-4118. Kansas Wichita, Abla Library. Wichita State University. 316-689-3155. Kentucky. Louisville Free Public Library. 502-561-8617. Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Troy H. Middleton Library Louisiana State University 504-388-2570 Maryland College Park, Engineering and Physical Sciences Library University of Maryland 
1-800-405-9157. Massachusetts. Amherst, Physical Sciences Library. University of Massachusetts. 413-545-1370. Boston Public Library. Michigan. Ann Arbor, Engineering Library. University of Michigan. 313-764-7494. Big Rapids, Abigail S. Tim Library. Ferris State University. Detroit Public Library. 313-833-1450. Minnesota. Minneapolis Public Library and Information. Center. 612-372-6570. Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi Library Commission. Missouri. Kansas City, Linda Hall Library. 816-363-4600. St. Louis Public Library. 314-241-2288. Montana. Butte, Montana College of Mineral Science. And Technology Library. 406 496-4281. Nebraska. Lincoln, Engineering Library, University of. Nebraska Lincoln. 402-472-3411. Nevada. Reno, University of Nevada Reno Library. 702-472-3411. New Hampshire. Durham, University of New Hampshire Library. 603-862-1777. New Jersey. Newark Public Library. 201-733-7782. Piscataway, Library of Science and Medicine, Rutgers University. 201-932-2895. New Mexico. Albuquerque, University of New Mexico. General Library. 505-277-4412. New York. Albany, New York State Library. 518-473-4636. Buffalo and Erie County Public Library. 716-858-7101. New York Public Library, The Research. Libraries. 212. 714-8529. North Carolina. Raleigh, D. H. Hill Library. North Carolina State University. 919-737-3280. North Dakota. Grand Forks, Chester Fritz Library. University of North Dakota. 701-777-4888. Ohio. Cincinnati and Hamilton County. 513-369-6936. Public Library of Cleveland. 216-623-2870. Public Library Columbus, Ohio State. 614-292-6175. University Toledo slash Lucas County Public. Library. 419-259-5212. Oklahoma. Stillwater Oklahoma State University Center. For International Trade Development. 405-744-7086. Oregon. Salem, Oregon State Library. 503-378-4239. Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, the Free Library of. 215-686-5331. Pittsburgh. Carnegie Library of University Park. 412-622-3138. Patty Library, Pennsylvania State University. 814-865-4861. Rhode Island. Providence Public Library. 401-455-8027. South Carolina. Charleston, Medical University of South. Carolina. 
1-800-242-2372. Clemson University Libraries. Tennessee. Memphis and Shelby County Public Library. And Information Center Nashville. 901-725-8876. Stevenson Science Library, Vanderbilt. 615-322-2775. Texas. Austin, McKinney Engineering Library. University of Texas at Austin. 512-495-4500. College Station, Sterling C. Evans. Library, Texas A&M University. 409-845-2551. Dallas Public Library. 214-670-1468. Houston, The Fondren Library, Rice. University. Utah. Salt Lake City, Marriott Library, University. Of Utah. Virginia. Richmond, James Branch Cabell Library. Virginia Commonwealth University. Washington. Seattle, Engineering Library, University of. Washington. West Virginia. Morgantown, Evansdale Library, West. Virginia University. Wisconsin. Madison, Kurt F. Went Library, University. Of Wisconsin Madison Milwaukee Public. Library. Patent websites. USP2.gov is the American Government Patent Office. USP2.gov slash main slash news and notices .htm. Patents.usb2.gov slash web slash menu slash search.html, patent search. USB2.gov slash web slash offices slash poc slash mpep slash mpep.htm, manual of patent examining procedure. USB2.gov slash web slash form slash index.html, get forms. CIPO.gc.ca is the Canadian Patent Office. Patent.gov.uk, Britain. Patentmuseum.com. Patent-kiosk.net, protect your invention instantly. Patentstorm.us. Coleytz.com slash site slash wacky.htm, wacky patents. Patents.ibm.com, gallery of obscure patents. Patentstorm.us. Bustpatents.com. FreePatentsOnline.com Patents.com PL-X.com, Patent and License Exchange PTOS.org, Patent and Trademark Office Society PatentAuction.com, Online Auction for Intellectual Properties TusBCO.com, Universal Scientific Publications Company Woodcock.com, LawFirm.PacificRim.net slash tilde patents the Strategic Patent Website, a comprehensive guide to patent resources. PatentlySilly.com Medical Device Patent Attorneys.com PatentCafe.com Inventors Dead Website Slash OD Slash Patent Attorneys NAP.org, National Association of Patent Practitioners Patents.com PatentLeo.com Patentleo.com slash patent slash 2008 slash 11 slash junk hyphen patents dot html. Bitlaw.com, patent, copyright, trademark, and internet technology law. Iplaw.org, Intellectual Property Law Association. Fightthepatent.com. Patentmonkey.com. Patentoffice.com. 271patent.blogspot.com. FedCIR.gov slash dailylog.html, Federal Circuit Patent Opinions, Orders, and Decisions. FedCIRC.us, Review of Patent Appellate Decisions. DailyDoCOFIP.blogspot.com. LAW.com slash JSP slash PC slash IPLA.jsp. PatentLeo.com. LitmanLaw.com, Free Patent Information. OKPatents.com OK slash PHOCETA OKPatents.com OK PLI.edu slash Patent Center slash blog.asp 
patent blog from the Practicing Law Institute. PatentGenius.com PatentPending.blogs.com CoosterLaw.com PatentResources.com PatentLaw.TypePad.com Wikipatents.com Patent Reviews Patent Search Inventsai.com Just-N-Examiner.LiveJournal.com PatentBarbary.com Patent Bar Review InventBlog.com Google.com slash patents PatentCArchInternational.com Delphion.com International Patent Search Database PatentCafe.com PatentStorm.us Lightlink.com slash BBM slash weird.html, weird and wonderful patents. Winninginventor.com Resource-expert.com Find-legal.net Inventing.tv LegalZoom.com PatelaLumit.com, Patent Attorneys 164.195.100.11 slash net at mel slash srichnam.htm, search by patent number. Dead website slash gi slash pages slash patent.htm. Bitlaw.com slash patent slash design. BLM.gov slash LR2000, Bureau of Land Management Land and Mineral Records. CarolinaPatents.com slash pat underscore articles. CIPO.GC.CA, Canada Patent Office. ColeyTZ.com slash site slash wacky slash htm, wacky patents. Delphion.com, intellectual property. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash information underscore disclosure underscore statement. Freepatentforms.com. Freshpatents.com offers information on a variety of new patent applications and inventions, updated each week. glowrecords.blm.gov slash logon slash logon.asp, Federal Land Patents Database. mit.edu slash patents. Patent Office RSS Feeds. Patent.com. Patent.org. Patent.womplex.ibm.com. Patentcafe.com. PatentGenius.com PatentItYourself.com PatentModel.org Patent Model Museum Patents.CNIDR.org Patents.com slash index.htm Patents.IBM.com PatentCArchExpress.com PatentsDORM.us Patents-US.com PatentValuePredictor.com PatentWizard.com, software that makes filing a patent application easier. PierceLaw.edu slash tfield slash careers.htm Patent.org PromoteTheProgress.com RethinkIP.com slash archive slash RethinkIP underscore makes underscore united underscore states underscore patent underscore and underscore trademark underscore office underscore news underscore and underscore notices underscore available underscore by underscore rss dot html. SPO.EDS.com Sunsite.unc.edu slash patents slash intro pat dot html. Town.hall.org slash patent. USB to .gov slash web slash offices slash ac slash edo slash ptdl. Patent resources. Books about inventing are in the hashtag 609.2 section of the library. Legal books about patents are at hashtag 346.73 or KF3114.6 and T339.M915 in the library of Congress system. Books about new product marketing are at Hashtag 658.575 to hashtag 658.8 or HF5415.15 and T212 at the library. Many of the online databases services like Delphi or Dialog have patent classification. Databases. The major books are Inventing and Patenting Sourcebook. GaleGroup.com, 800-877 Gale. Patent it yourself. Nalo.com Patent Search Companies 
there are a number of commercial patent search companies out there. USB to gov slash web slash offices slash decom slash olea slash oed slash roster slash index dot html, patent attorneys. Patents dot usb to gov slash web slash menu slash search dot html, patent search. Readfacts.com. Origin.com. Delphion.com slash simple, patent search. Derwent.com, 800-451. 3451-800-337-9368 Dialog.com, 800-334-2564, patent search for a fee. Lycos.com Micropat.com, 800-648-6787 PLP at prd.questl.fr slash PLP at slash JSP slash N slash login dot JSP qpat.com spo.eds.com sunzite.unc.edu slash patents slash intropat.html patent search system telebase.com 800-220-4664 business, credit, trademark thompson-thompson.com 800-692-8833 patents and trademarks TrademarkRegister.com USB to .gov slash patft slash index .html WIPO.int, World Intellectual Property Organization A1 Patent Search 800-331-2914 Lexpat 800-843-6476 Mead Data Control 800-543-6476 6862. Fax, 513-865-7418. Search is done for free, payment for information found at $30 per listing of abstracts, patents, $20 each. Rapid Patent. 1921, Jefferson Davis Highway. Hashtag 1821D. Arlington, Virginia, 22202. 800-336. 5010. Fax, 703-685-3987. Cost around $300 per search. Thompson & Thompson. 500, Victory Road. North Quincy, Ma 02171-3145. 800-331-2914. Thompson-Thompson.com. XL Corporate Services. 2. White Street. NYC 10013. 800 221 2972. 212 431 5000. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. U.S. Department of Commerce. Washington, D.C. 20231. 703 308 Help. 703 557 3158 Recorded line gives general information. 703 305 8747 Automated line which provides status information about pending trademark applications. 800 786 9199 Fax 703 305 7786 USB to .gov General inquiries Free booklets Basic Facts About Patents A Guide to Filing a Patent Application, Disclosure Document Program Price List of Fees and Patent Application Form Also, you can order copies of patents if you have the patent number for a dollar per copy, choice of black and white or color which is eight dollars. The free booklets list all the patent depository libraries in the country as well as how to get more detailed information. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office Scientific Document Library Crystal Valley, VA 703-557-5622 Massive Library Open to the Public, will conduct limited patent searches for $150, some other information like their already completed reports are free. U.S. Government Printing Office Superintendent of Documents Washington, D.C. 20402. 
202-783-3228. Order the booklet, General Information. Concerning patents at a cost of $2, hashtag 003-004-006412, also the newsletter Patent Official Gazette, $41 single copy. Patent databases slash free patent search. Delphion.com, patent database. usb gov slash patft slash index.html. Patentgopher.com. TMWEB.com. TheIntellectualProject.com, free patent, trademark, and copyright searches. FreePatentsOnline.com. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. U.S. Department of Commerce. Washington, D.C. 20231. 703-308 Help. 703-557-3158 Recorded Line Gives General Information. 703-305-8747 Automated Line Which Provides Status Information About Pending Trademark Applications. 800-786-9199. 703-305-7786 USB to .gov Agriculture Patent Info Plant Variety Protection Office National Agricultural Library Room 500 10301 Baltimore Boulevard Beltsville, Maryland 20705-2351 301-4-2351 Fax, 301-504-5291. AMS.USDA.gov slash science slash pvp.htm. Chapter 5. World Patent Info. Get a foreign patent info. You must file for a foreign patent within one year of filing for an American patent or lose all foreign patent rights forever. Since the rights granted by a United States patent extend only throughout the territory of the United States and have no effect in a foreign country, an inventor who wishes patent protection in other countries must apply for a patent in each of the other countries or in regional patent offices. Almost every country has its own patent law and a person desiring a patent in a particular country must make an application for patent in that country, in accordance with the requirements of that country. The laws of many countries differ in various respects from the patent law of the United States. In most foreign countries, publication of the invention before the date of the application will bar the right to a patent. In most foreign countries maintenance fees are required. Most foreign countries require that the patented invention must be manufactured in that country after a certain period, usually three years. If there is no manufacture within this period, the patent may be void in some countries, although in most countries the patent may be subject to the grant of compulsory licenses to any person who may apply for a license. There is a treaty relating to patents which is adhered to by 100 countries, including the United States and is known as the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property. It provides that each country guarantees to the citizens of the other countries the same rights in patent and trademark matters that it gives to its own citizens. The treaty also provides for the right of priority in the case of patents, trademarks and industrial designs, design patents. This right means that, on the basis of a regular first application filed in one of the member countries, the applicant may, within a certain period of time, apply for protection in all the other member countries. These later applications will then be regarded as if they had been filed on the same day as the first application. Thus these later applicants will have priority over applications for the same invention which may have been filed during the same period of time by other persons. Moreover, these later applications, being based on the first application, will not be invalidated by any acts accomplished in the interval, such as, for example, publication or exploitation of the invention, the sale of copies of the design or use of the trademark. The period of time mentioned above, within which the subsequent applications may be filed in the other countries, is 12 months in the case of first applications for patent and 6 months in the case of industrial designs and trademarks. Another treaty, known as the Patent Cooperation Treaty, 
was negotiated at a diplomatic conference in Washington, D.C. in June of 1970. The treaty came into force on January 24, 1978 and is presently adhered to by 44 countries, including the United States. The treaty facilitates the filing of applications for patent on the same invention in member countries by providing, among other things, for centralized filing procedures and a standardized application format. The timely filing of an international application affords applicants an international filing date in each country which is designated in the international application and provides 1. A search of the invention and 2. A later time period within which the national applications for patent must be filed. A number of patent attorneys specialize in obtaining patents in foreign countries. In general, an inventor should be satisfied that he could make some profit from foreign patents or that there is some particular reason for obtaining them, before he attempts to apply for foreign patents. Under United States law it is necessary, in the case of inventions made in the United States, to obtain a license from the Commissioner of Patents and Trademarks before applying for a patent in a foreign country. Such a license is required if the foreign application is to be filed before an application is filed in the United States or before the expiration of six months from the filing of an application in the United States. The filing of an application for patent constitutes the request for a license and the granting or denial of such request is indicated in the filing receipt mailed to each applicant. After six months from the United States filing, a license is not required unless the invention has been ordered to be kept secret. If the invention has been ordered to be kept secret, the consent to the filing abroad must be obtained from the Commissioner of Patents and Trademarks during the period the order of secrecy is in effect. WIPO.org, WIPO.int, IPDL.WIPO.int, World Intellectual Property Organization. EP.eSpaceNet.com, European Patent Office Database Search European-Patent-Office.org slash eSpaceNet slash info slash access.htm is SpaceNet Foreign Patent Information European-Patent-Office.org slash index.htm European Patent Office World Patent Websites WIPO.int AsianTrademark.com India Trademark Registration India Patent Registration European-Patent-Office.org slash Patlib European-Patent-Office.org slash Patlib slash Country slash European-Patent-Office.org slash Patlib slash Country slash Belgium European-Patent-Office.org slash Patlib slash Country slash France ep.espacenet.com, European Patents WIPO.in slash new slash n WIPO.in slash IPDL slash n slash search slash hake slash search hyphen struct dot JSP information about industrial designs submitted in accordance with the Hague system for the international deposit of industrial designs. Basicpatents.com Kitamura-pat.com Japan Patent Services Protect Your Patent Rights in Japan basicpatents.com slash podoffc.htm, link to patent offices from around the world. basicpatents.com slash patwws.htm, affordable worldwide patent and trademark services. Best practices. blogs.com slash patent. bubl.ac.uk slash link slash p slash patents.htm, European, worldwide and Japanese patents. Businessweek.com slash technology. Cafezine.com, if frontline magazine features patent intellectual property technology news. CAS.org slash farm, world of pharmaceutical information. CAS.org slash support slash SDNGen slash doc slash patent DBS.html, patent databases. Chenrobles.com slash legal 7 htm List of intellectual property offices and major organizations around the world, Law Office. Davida and DeRaymond.com, Lawyers. Delphion.com, Worldwide Patent Collection. Dentalfacts.com slash mo underscore patent.asp, 
Every month there are 60 to 70 worldwide dental patents issued in the United States and around the world. EAPO.org, the Eurasian Patent Organization. EN.Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent. EN.Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash patent underscore infringement. EP.eSpaceNet.com, European Patent Office Database. European-Patent-Office.org. European-Patent-Office.org slash online links. European-Patent-Office.org slash rep slash search.html, European Patent Attorneys. eWeek.com. GlobalIP.com. Google.com slash Google Patents slash about.html. Halihan.com, Chicago Patent Attorneys. IamCafe.com. IBM.com slash IBM slash licensing slash patent slash portfolio dot shtml, IBM intellectual property and licensing patents portfolio. Intellectual dash property dot gov dot uk slash resources slash patents slash offices underscore worldwide dot htm. Inventionhome.com. Invention dash ifia dot ch, international patent law and practice issues. InventionPatent101.com InventionsHow.com Inventors Dead Website Slash OD Slash Patent Offices Inventors Dead Website Slash OD Slash Patent Offices Slash Patent Underscore Trademark Underscore Copyright Underscore Offices Dot HTM IPFrontline.com Magazine Features Patent Intellectual Property Technology News and Best Practices IPJOR.com, Intellectual Property Law. IPLawPortal.com. IPLawPortal.com slash Patent World. JPO.GO.JP, Japan. Koppelpatent.com, Law Firm. LIB.Duke.edu slash Reference slash Subjects slash Patents.htm. MAMPatent.com, Patent Attorneys. NIP.Blogs.com slash Patent. Noviance.com slash patent slash international hyphen patent hyphen services slash index dot html. Onlypatent.com. Organicconsumers.org slash patent. Patentboard.com. Patentcafe.com. Patentidea.biz. Patentlawlinks.com. Patentlawlinks.com slash potoff.htm, patent offices worldwide. PatentLens.net, free patent search. PatentLibrarian.blogspot.com. PatentMotic.com slash links, links to many patent offices worldwide. PatentPlagues.com slash store slash worldpatents.asp, international patent plagues worldwide. PatentTreeProductTonco.com, worldwide patent drawing services. PatentCArchExpress.com. PatentsHQ.com slash World Patent. PatentTrademarkGuide.com. PCTGazette.wipo.int slash eng. PCUG.org.au slash tilde aran, patent office sites around the world. PiperPat.co.nz, patent and trademark attorneys operating in New Zealand and the South Pacific. PiperPat.com, lots of patent info. Piperpat.com slash default.aspx question mark Tabi D equal sign 52, worldwide list of patent attorneys. Promote the progress.com, patent blog. Questel.orbit.com, intellectual property patent and trademark searching. SGA2.com, worldwide renewal services for intellectual property. Spectrum.ieee.org, ranks the world's patents. TechDirt.com slash article slash 20060203 slash 0332207.shtml, why patent trolls worldwide love Marshall, Texas. Thomson.com, Thomson Scientific publishes World IP Today analyzing global patent activity. TJDPatentServices.com, drafting advice services, new applications around the world, patent search. TPRinternational.com, Patent Research International. USPAT.com, Patent Document Delivery Service.
usb2.gov usb2.gov slash web slash offices slash poc slash dap slash pct the patent valuable patent portfolios wipo.int worldwide patent filings wipo.int slash about hyphen ip slash n slash patents dot html wipo.int slash classify cation slash n slash index dot html wipo international classifications wipo.org world intellectual property organization wipsglobal.com world intellectual property search worldbizinfo.com slash dictionary slash patent dot shtml worldlingo.com slash n slash services slash patent underscore translations dot html translation of intellectual property patents patent offices in some countries kipo.go.kr korean industrial patent office is.lt slash vpb slash english lithuanian patent office indcopy.gob.pe peruvian intellectual property office Parliament.md, the Moldovan Parliament. INPI.pt, Portuguese Intellectual Property Office. OSIM.ro, Romanian State Office for Inventions and Trademarks. UPRP.pl slash English, Polish Patent Office. INDPROP.gov.sk slash IE.htm, Slovakia Intellectual Property Office. PRV.SE slash interpat slash pat doc underscore frame ZT dot HTML, Swedish Patent Office, in Swedish and English. IGE.CH, Swiss Patent Office. OEPM.ES, Spanish Patent Office. ESpaceNet.CH slash intro slash intro and dot HTM, Switzerland. WorldwideIPR.com, Patent and Trademark Attorneys India. WorldwideIPR.com slash patent hyphen registration dot htm, patent registration services India. DKPTO.dk, Danish patent office. DPMA.de, German patent office. HPO.hu, Hungarian patent office. Patent.is, Iceland patent office. JPO.go.jp, Japanese patent office. Australia Patent Info IPAustralia.gov.au slash patents IPAustralia.gov.au slash patents slash p underscore srch.htm, Australia IPAustralia.gov.au AdamsPluck.com.au British Patent Info BusinessLink.gov.uk, Protecting Your Intellectual Property Patents.co.uk, Patent Attorneys Midlands. Patent.gov.uk slash patent slash dbase slash espace dot htm. BL.uk slash collection slash patents dot html, the British Library's Business and IP Center. Intellectual property.gov.uk. Patent.gov.uk. Patent.gov.uk slash design slash how to apply slash abroad. Patent.gov.uk slash dpolicy slash index dot html. Patent.gov.uk slash patent slash dbase slash index dot htm, Britain. Patent office. Jenkins ip.com slash patlaw slash intro dot htm, lawyers. Appendix 1. Government booklets. Copyrights, trademarks, and patents. The trademark application. The Patent Application The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office U.S. Patent and Trademark Office U.S. Department of Commerce Washington, D.C. 20231 703-308 Help USB2.gov